Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Renaud, Developmental Optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, where we specialize in vision therapy. Do you know a child who struggles when they're reading? They, they tend to lose their place a lot. They can't keep up with you as you're moving across the page. They may skip or repeat lines and words frequently. Today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to test and identify if that child is struggling to track across the page because of their vision. So, and if you wanna keep up with more vision related content with us, make sure to hit subscribe, find us on Facebook and Instagram, and let's get to it. So learning how to read is hard. It's even harder if you struggle to move your eyes accurately and efficiently across the page from word to word to word. So do you ever wonder why your child loses their place so frequently? They need to use a finger to find the next word and, and keep their place while reading. Do they frequently skip lines or repeat lines to jump over words on accident and that's really common for them? Uh, or even if they put in so much effort and they try so hard, but the results and ability are just not matching up. Did you know that one in four children struggle with a learning related vision problem? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to identify if your child's eyes and their vision are part of the problem. So let me show you. You can do this one-on-one -on -one with your child and all you need is a pencil. I want you to sit straight across from your child at eye level and hold the pencil about reading distance away from them. Ask the child to follow the pencil with their eyes only. I want you to move that pencil in a figure eight pattern, nice and slowly. And you're watching for if, if, if their eyes are moving nice and smoothly. Any jerky eye movements are a problem where their eyes are jumping instead of moving nice and smoothly. They should be able to follow the pencil for an extended period without looking away. So if you see any losses of fixation where they look away from the target, they may jump away and come back, look away, come back, things like that, especially across the midline, right, across, right in the center of their body. If they cannot keep their eyes on target, that's a problem. They should be able to move their eyes independently of their head. So if you see any head movement, that's a problem as well. You can load the task with a cognitive challenge since reading requires constant thinking while moving your eyes. So see if they can answer simple questions for you while they continue to track the pencil. So for example, uh, what is your birthday? What city do you live in? What's three plus four? Can you spell a simple word like car, ball, game? And you're watching for if the child can continue to keep their eyes on target while simultaneously answering your questions. If you see their performance fall apart, well, think of reading as there's constant cognitive attention going into comprehension and processing while they need to automatically move their eyes across the page. So if you see any problems in the way that child tracks the pencil, then that can really impact reading. Think about how reading is, it's, it's very, very challenging for vision. You need to make tiny, precise eye movements across the page, hitting the right target, avoiding the wrong target. And we should really do all of this automatically, without effort, really unconsciously move your eyes. We should not be thinking about finding the next word. If we're wasting brain power on finding the next word, think about how that interferes with comprehension, with speed, fluency, understanding that can really impact reading if we need to put a lot of effort into something that should be effortless. So if your child struggled to track and follow that pencil along, if they did not do well in this test, your next step is to contact a developmental optometrist. They'll perform a very thorough evaluation of your child's functional visual skills. This will go a lot further than a standard eye exam, which really just focuses on 2020. Do they need a glasses prescription? How's their eye health? Developmental optometrists like myself are specifically trained to evaluate and diagnose problems related to a child's reading and learning ability. That includes eye tracking, eye focusing. Can they use their eyes together as a team in a coordinated fashion while they're reading? So when you're ready, contact us to see if an evaluation is a good idea for your child. You can call us at 616-848-7548 or learn more at our website, eagleeyevisiontherapy.com. If you do not live in the West Michigan area, you want to find a local developmental optometrist check out covd.org and you can click locate a doctor to find a provider in your area. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck with this test. Let us know how it goes and stay tuned for our next video.